you can't you can't use your feet. See now I can't touch you. Okay. Now, first of all, what are these? Scissors. Pretty simple. Tweezers. 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 What about if they were long? Scalpel. Like forceps? Scalpel. Scratcher. Not a scratcher. Probe, thank you. And of course. Scalpel. 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 Okay. What I'm expecting for you guys to do is you will need to, on your footage, you will need to record the different parts of the brain. I would want you each to do this, right? Because it's not gonna take long for you to do it with your phone, right? So what is this part? Cerebellum. Cerebrum. Cerebrum. What is the bit underneath? The cerebellum. Yeah, I think that's the cerebellum or it might be part of the brain that's been squished, right? Um, what is this bit going up here? Brain stem. Brain stem. Brain stem. Okay, so that's no problems. This brain's a little bit deformed, so it's a bit hard to see. But oh, and that's so. This isn't something we've covered yet. But remember, I talked about the two halves of the brain. So let's assume that it goes. Oh, it's a bit hard to assume. Assume it's assume this. That is very deformed. It is very deformed. All right, it's been squished. Assume this is the front. Wait, would you, how would you cook that if you were going to eat that? Cook, cook it up. Yeah. Cook it up, fry it up. Okay. How would you cook it um, up? If this is the front, <laughs> what is this lobe? Okay, so on the side, I should be able to find, well, good luck, but in here, you should be able to find the what, temporal lobe. What's the bit on top? And the bit at the back? Right, the bit that will, the bit at the back will be closest to the cerebellum. Yeah. All right. After that, you can turn it over and look up here. You've got the brain stem, the pons, pons. right, going up to the thalamus, right up to the, the hypothalamus, it's, it's and it's, oh, now it's sorry, right up to the hypothalamus. Um, you may or may not see the um, pituitary yeah. gland. Which one's okay? the pituitary gland? I'm not sure because it's in a sheep, it's different. Now. That's basically what you need to do for naming stuff. The other part is we talked about grey matter and white matter. So we get, we're, this is the part where I want you to very carefully dissect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the front of the frontal lobe. So basically, very carefully, you're going to be slicing this. Wait, cut off what? The frontal, oh, the front of the frontal lobe. Okay. Spoiler alert. That's coming really hard. Well. Oh, okay, so you can see now what is the well, let's say the gray matter here. What is that part? The neurons, yeah. Well, that's all neurons, but what is this bit? The actual brain, yeah. This is the thinking part. What's the white bit? It's not fat, it's the, the things that connect it, correct? So, see this bit here. There's a say, there's a cell here. A neuron here and there's a neuron over here mm -hmm. so it connects up a little bit of white across here to this bit here these are the roads that right equally it has to go to here it has to go to here it has to go to here and it has to go through the brain to all the other parts so every, in a sense every neuron is connected to every other neuron in the brain not quite but it's up there um, so this is the connective tissue. You don't normally see it. All we ever see is these folds, right? So you can see now those folds go in and out, right? So there's blood vessels that run in here to actually feed the neuron. There's no blood vessels on the inside, right? Because this cell is connected to those things. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So you need to talk about the connective tissue and the gray matter, right? White matter and gray matter. Uh, once you've done that, what I would like you to do is carefully, and I'm not going to worry about um, showing you this, I want you to remove the cerebellum, right? I put that to the side, all right? I want you to turn this over and as best as you can, oh, hang on, if I, if I separate here, oh, it's actually come apart completely now, you should be able to see, this looks like the corpus callosum here, which would join the two halves of the brain, all right? I want you to see if you can actually remove the whole entire brainstem. So you have the cerebellum, oh sorry, the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and the brainstem. Right, it's three different parts. Make sure you do your filming before you chop them all up. Would you 
Would you remove the corpus callosum as part of the brainstem? You won't be able to. Okay, so you won't you be, because this bit here is actually attached to the entire, every single nerve in that part of the brain. How are you going to cut that bit out? Was that just... You, you can't cut that bit out, but you can actually remove the brainstem from underneath. Okay. All so right. That one there. So that's basically a have a go. So after you've done your filming and you've labelled the parts, have a go at separating it out. Alex. Um, so out of filming, it's just the one frame for the toolbox. I would film yours. You do a filming on your phone. Alex will do a filming on his phone. Uh, what if you already cut? No, don't cut it. Do your filming before you cut it. Right, so name the different parts of the brain, the, the, cere the cerebrum, uh, the cerebellum, and the brainstem, the front, all the different lobes, and then the parts of the brainstem, all right? Once you've, once you've done that, you've now got a copy of that. Cut the front off, right? And then tell me about the gray matter and the white matter, all right? Um, and then once you've done that, then you don't need to do any more filming. Can we just do it as a group instead of singularly? No, because I want you all to have it on your phones. Oh, right, so you, it'll only take you, it should only take you to do the filming yourself, maybe a minute, maybe two minutes at the most. Okay? It's great for when you actually want to do your revision, because you can refer back to it, all right? If you don't have your phone, you don't have the opportunity of, of recording. Oh, so you don't have to necessarily record it? I'm not going to mark it. It's for you for, for your reference. Oh, okay. Oh,